Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Today we are going to do a very short video on how to remove the immobilizer on the car. Uh, the car is an Audi A4, 96 or 97 I think. Um, remove the immobilizer from the ECU. Why? Because um, the customer changed the immobilizer box but uh, he didn't thought about, you know, I will change the immobilizer and the car will not start. So he just called me and said, no, my, my car doesn't start. Okay, what did you do? I changed the immobilizer box. Okay, no news, you know. If you change the immobilizer box and you don't have to pin code and you don't synchronize the, the immobilizer with the ECU and all that, the car will not start. That's fact. So today we are going to change to, to remove the immobilizer from, from this Audi A4. Uh, I will show you the ECU, I will show you uh, the, the APROM, you need to desolder, it's a 24C02, you need to desolder, um, I will show you the software I used to remove the immobilizer, uh, and then we will solder the APROM back and then return the ECU to the, to the customer. So let's, uh, let's see. So here we have the ECU. I think you can see it. It's a Bosch. Uh, it's a Motronic M321. Uh, you can always find uh, what kind of, of um, engine control uh, management is this by looking up the Bosch part number. If you go on, uh, on Google and just uh, search for um, Bosch reference number, you will get a site where you can uh, where you can input this uh, this number and uh, it will tell exactly what type of uh, engine management uh, control unit you have here. I will put the, the link in, uh, in, the, in the description of the video. So we will have to open the box. I have four screws, one, two, three, four, remove, and then this all piece will come out, and then we will look for the, for the EEPROM. So now the ECU is open. I will just have to take it out. Prying with a with a screwdriver here. Okay, now it's open. This is the ECU, and we will have to look for the EEPROM. On this particular board, the EEPROM it's on the other side, and it's located right here. And it's marked with uh, B. Let me check. It's a B58, B58258. So this is a 24C02. I will have to desolder this one and put it in an EEPROM uh, programmer reader and read the information out of it. So I will desolder this and then I will show you the rest uh, on, on, on the PC. For desoldering, I'm going to use a hot uh, iron gun. Uh, you heat it up a little by by little, and holding with uh, you heat it, and then when it's hot enough, it will just came off. Don't pull too much because you will break the legs. So I have desoldered the EEPROM and I'm using a cheap, simple uh, EEPROM programmer, GQ4X. It's an universal EEPROM uh, programmer and uh, I will read the EEPROM with, uh, with this device and I will also program it back with the same device. So as uh, I will do this as a simulation because I, I already read the EEPROM and did the operation. Um, I will show you what and how. So I will select the device. I will uh, find the 24C02. Select it. It will tell me to insert it into the programmer. And I will say read. Now the EEPROM is read. Uh, and I will take a look at the, the buffer. So this is how the, the EEPROM uh, content looks like. Uh, is not too much to see in in, uh, in, in here, but this is the content. Uh, now we will save the file, uh, so we have it as a backup, and then we will uh, take the next tool that will help us remove the immobilizer. Uh, the tool I'm going to use it's um, something you can find uh, on the internet. Just Google uh, 
emo decoder uh, three two and uh, you will you will find the software so we let this run in the background and we open the immobilizer removal program so now we are going to open the uh, emo universal decoding I will have to select a brand I will select uh, Volkswagen and then M321 and it will tell me that I have to program the EEPROM 24C02 I open the EEPROM this one is the file that I have read and then I say repair repair file yes file repaired save and I will say EEPROM EMOF EEPROM B ok now that's done we go back to the EEPROM program EEPROM OFF don't be scared it's looking different it's working the solution and then I will just say write to the device after I write to the device I will take the EEPROM back and solder it on the on the uh, ECU and give it to the customer the customer will just have to disconnect the battery uh, connect the ECU connect the battery again and start the car so that's uh, how you do it so now that we have the, the now that we have the EEPROM that it's uh, done we are going to solder it back I already did on, on the board when you solder it uh, put a little bit of flux uh, and then solder it back we take the ECU we close it and put back the screws and that should be it if you have an easier way to do it or um, more efficient let me know Thanks guys, bye bye.